Hello, how are you? We are live on the Archie Luxury channel. How are you going, Tan? Yeah, I'm good. How's your uh, how's the start of your week going? Uh, it's been better. I got personal problems I'm dealing with. It's been a disaster. Uh, you know, I got so-called friends who used to do super chats and live shows with me. They've gone and monetized their own channel. They try and take every every lousy dollar that I, I every lousy uh, every lousy rupee every lousy rupee. It's just it's just fucking terrible. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Why is the world so cruel, Tan? Tell me that. Well, you know what? You can still come home to your four steel stunners. You know, you can still sniff your leather box. You know, yes. it, 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 it all makes it better, I guess. By the you know, way, you this watch check. The Pam. Pam, Pam Submersible. 24 Submersible. How are you enjoying wearing that watch? I see that you've been wearing it since you came back. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I absolutely love that watch um i gotta be completely truthful with you i actually okay i'll tell you this now in confidence because no one's fucking watching i mean the archie luxury we're, we're kind of like the original and the cover bands are beating me all the cover you know cover bands they're all fucking doing better than me at the moment um look i was actually going to do a deal with this guy this guy, he stiffed me. This is the guy who sold the world time in Russia. Yep. I found it for him. Listen to this. I found it for him for 34,000 Aussie. Thirty four thousand Aussie and then That's for a five two three zero white gold. Okay, yeah, okay, yes, the five two three zero, yep. Okay. And then he uh, he ends up selling it to a Russian dealer. It's a long story. It's fuck. It. Hey, we've got Vin. Vin Tinye, how are you? He's hey, in the yeah, office. Yeah. And you're not exactly French, okay? You're not a French yeah, okay, Canadian. So, so okay? Vin, what happened is Archie Archie texted me saying, "Hey, we're, you know, we'll be live in a few minutes." And then I'm like, "You're gonna have to answer to your comments about French Canadians to Vin." Well, you're not French, Vin. You're Vietnamese. No. The Vietnamese hate the fucking he's, he's frogs. He's not Vietnamese either. Like the Vietnamese hate the fucking frogs. Jesus Christ. Uh, sure. Yeah, we all look the same. We're not the uh, anyway, uh, how's it going? It's pretty fucked. I've got personal problems. I've got so-called friends of mine in the past who've started their own YouTube channel and monetized. And then that person's actually in the chat, by the way, as well as, you know, big shout out to Bear Clooney Watches. He's in the chat. What's up, Mike? Yeah. Goldberg. Anyhow. Goldberg. Hey, Goldberg. Oh, Goldberg. God, Goldberg. Hey. Goldberg. Hello, darlings. How hey. are we today, my handsomes, hey. my pretties? Yeah, I've been better. I've got personal problems oh, I'm yeah. dealing with, okay? Sorry to hear it. Yeah, very... I'm dealing with homelessness, okay? A family member, I don't want to say too much about it. I'm dealing with homelessness. I'm helping someone out, okay? Have you taken someone in? No, I can't do that. My lease doesn't allow that, but I'm, I'm helping them, okay? Let's just say that. Someone close to you, I assume. Yeah, it's a fucking disaster. It's a fucking disaster. Everything's gone really, really bad. Tanzil, five dollar super chat. Thank God there is a Jesus. How much for you to bring the rancher on and tell him that he has no friends and that his shitters do nothing for you? Less than nothing for you, in fact. Less than nothing, yes. Yeah, look, I, I gotta tell you the truth. I got a love-hate relationship with the rancher. Sometimes I get really angry that he monetized. But then again, other times, I kind of like the guy. Christopher Chen, $2 super chat. Remind us of what you think of gay men. Actually, I, I, I tell you something. I was in this restaurant last night. I was having Indian, one of my favorite foods. And I saw two gays across from me. And I'm thinking, what would it be like to actually fancy other men? And well, not after, Indian, not after Indian food, man. Be careful. Yes. Well... 
and because there's a, there a gay couple <laughs> across from me and i thought you know something it would really work for me but i just am not attracted to men that's i'm just telling you honestly i'm personally not attracted now that doesn't mean anything i'm just telling you some men unattracted to women and i can perfectly get that uh i don't mind lesbians i must admit that i i don't mind i'll tell you something that's happening in asia a lot is um you got a thing called the thumb the thumb the thumb okay and what's happening is because marriage is such a bad deal a lot of um ladies are now hitching they can't find partners so they're finding like you, you got female. a 20 super chat here aren't you? Super chat. Here. patrick mcdonald 1999 quick thoughts on grand seiko rebanding removing seiko from the 12 o'clock on the dials and specifically the sbga 229 spring dry drive driver probably purchasing next week look i think i i a lot of people have said they dislike this the way they've done it um i'm i'm not one way or the other i don't think it really matters uh i think grand seiko needs to do something to differentiate themselves from seiko because to the average punter they can't really understand grand seiko uh the model numbers are fucking ridiculous right instead of calling an sbga they should call it just simple names which correspond you know they got to try and make it easier to get more newbies in grand seiko is kind of a very much a purist type watch and, and you know like I, um, mark made a video uh and i think mark it must have been over a year or two ago when when you made a video on grand seiko and you were talking about how like you know you can appreciate seiko and you like all the great stuff that they're doing um in grand seiko but you know just being a brand whore and just being like it says seiko on it and i just can't justify spending five six thousand dollars on a watch like that that has that name yeah. on it i'm shallow i admit it and like they didn't they couldn't even take a lesson from other japanese companies such as Toyota with a Lexus division. I mean, at a certain mm. point when they, when they began Lexus, Toyota understood there was no way they were gonna sell a 50, 60, 70, 80, $90,000 Toyota. So they just rebadged it. And I, I've never understood why Seiko didn't do that other than, other than pride and hubris. Um, but I think those of us who- Well, they, not, did it with, they did it with Credor, right? They have their other brand. They did, and that 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 watch is to uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's like to a whole other level, right? Uh, some of them, they do have some that are sort of lower end, sort of. This is what's so fucking tricky. They don't know how to make the branding clear. They're not consistent. Some are, some aren't. Fuck me dead. Fuck me dead. Make it fucking simple. Well, These I are watch the collectors problem, here. I think the thing with Seiko is that they're very much a Japanese conglomerate with many different competing uh, business units sort of loosely all like all grouped together and they all have like executives everywhere who want to go and make money and um, be the big dogs. So I think that kind of that might play a role in sort of the confusion. They're not organized. But, but, like by the guys. way, it, I don't see the rancher making a few super chats here himself. He, he could even the score out by making a few super chats himself here. I would oh, encourage the rancher. Well, well, well played, Archie. Well played. That was what I would encourage the rancher is to do some super chats with that bucket of cash that's definitely come in there. What, what, and, what, do you, uh, uh, what kind of super chat contribution should he make to get up on the fridge? Let's let's go for the gonads here. What would it take? Oh, that, that's fifty bucks. Fifty dollars to get the rancher on the fridge. How about how much money to get the to get the rancher completely forgiven and to get his cardinal's robes back? I tried getting that question answered earlier. Two fifty. Let's, let's put it to a for two hundred two fifty. For two hundred and fifty dollars, that thirty-six millimeter will do something for you, and he and. <laughs> and he's not a turd you, anymore. You, you, you would need to successfully get him onto the channel, Archie. And I think I think we could spring that. But you need to successfully get him onto the channel. Well, I think that's know, the best. Thing. Well, let me ask you. Okay, listen. I, I'm going to act as sort of like um, Secretary of State here because I'm watching Madam Secretary lately. Mm -hmm. I feel like on this show, I might actually be the Madam Secretary of the Archie Luxury Channel at this time. So $250 would get him back robes back you know it never happened 
Yeah. So um, I think we could raise that money in super chats. In, uh, in we could do it tonight easily. Yeah, we we can get that. So um, I think I need to excuse myself for a moment to make a phone call. Okay. No worries. I must say one thing. Can I just comment one thing? I'm a huge Trump supporter. I love the Trumpster, right? Yeah. The only criticism, can I just mention one criticism? Sure. You're amongst Canadians, so you can definitely... Only one? We've got hundreds of them. <laughs> You're amongst it Canadians. Seems, and <coughs> it, I find it very worrying that he seems <laughs> to get on. <laughs> I find it very worrying that he seems to... And I'm, I am a Trumpster. I am a paid-up member of the Trump supporters league okay there we go um now i do i don't find it very worrying that trumpster seems to get on with military dictatorships and tyrants more than democratically elected leaders around the world why is that so mark you're the only american here you gotta help us do we really we have to go yet? I, I hate to say this, but I wasn't listening. I was no, I'm was. i just saying, why does Trump seems to get on so well with military dictators, despots, tyrants, and other... Yeah, because he wants to be one. That's why. Quite simple. That's his goal. That's the, that's the end game, people. So, mm. birds of a feather flock together. Lay down with dogs, wake up with carpet beetles. Because, mm. I mean, he seems to get on better with these despots than democratically elected leaders. This is yeah, well, kind of strange, you know? But anyhow, that's my, that's, my, that's my gripe. I've said my gripe. I'm not going to go on about it anymore. Um, I just wanted to say that I've been extremely... Okay, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what happened to me. You know, I've been let down. i got a family member who I'm trying to help with homelessness, okay? I'm trying to help. I'm trying to help. So um, that's... That's a bit hard. I'm also, I had a deal happening, okay? Someone was going to swap this Pam for an Explorer 2, but I had to kick in 1300 US dollars. And I'd already done a deal where I swap that, pick up, pick up a thousand US dollars and get a California dial Pam. A Pam four two four. I told you that California is better. I know, but the fucking the deal's fallen through because the guy who was going to five dollars super chat from Tan. Okay, so Tan buys a tuna GMT. Yes, Ding Ving buys a glass Hooter original in response. Who made the better choice? No doubt about it. Tan, the Tudor is a fucking. I I reckon that's the a hot watch at the moment what's how could you buy a glass hoot? did you buy well, a glass suit vin well here's the thing archie i even gave ving the option to buy the tutor gmt yeah. i i offered it to him first i said hey this guy's selling it retail price go for it Ving turned it down so yeah, what he's gonna what? eat his noodles he's gonna eat his noodles and, and justify his purchase why would you turn that down i i i the tutor is that's the first gmt with snowflake hands man that's so cool yeah, so you know, there's one on eBay right now for basically list price. The, however, it looks to me like they've sold off the stainless steel bracelet and replaced it with an aftermarket leather. But box paper is brand new. Well, well, here's the thing, Mark. The Tudor GMTs only come with one bracelet or one strap. They don't give the extra straps anymore. So was it? Yeah. Uh, is, it is it supplied on a, <clears throat> on a leather? You can. I don't know if uh, I don't know if it's on a leather. They have one. I know on the fabric, on the bracelet, I'm not sure on the leather. Okay. Well, anyway, I think it is. I think actually, I think leather is the other option. Yeah. In which case, there's one. Yeah, there's there's a brand shit spanking new one on eBay right now for like zero premium. Yeah, but why is it missing the bracelet? The bracelet's worth a thousand bucks, isn't it? What's yeah. not missing it? It just gives you three options to get it. Right. You can either get a bracelet, leather, or uh, fabric. So uh, I'd like to do a quick wristwatch check and show you that I'm wearing a, a proper watch today. And um, I have a, a small announcement that I'm willing to make right right now on the Archie Luxury channel, but I don't know if we should insist on a little super chat money first because it's a uh, pretty good announcement. Or it will be as soon as You're possible. Good. Yes, please, 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 please donate now. And Mark, 
will make a very revealing expose on the Archie Luxury Channel. Another exclusive. Another exclusive. Are you reading a menu, channel. Paul, Paul? Are you reading a menu right now? Because you seem a bit distracted, and I wonder if you're looking at a menu. No, I'm Is just, you? I'm just fondling the uh, clasp, the clasp on my. Ham! And you I gotta tell you, this is an absolute. This is a bitch. I saw the YouTube video. This is a fucking bitch to get the to change straps. You know that? It's a fucking bitch on this Pam. Mark, you know it doesn't I take Archie too, too long. I might have to do this for free. <laughs> okay. But I make I'm, the I'm, announcement. Make the I'm, announcement. I'm announcing the. Uh, there's a. I've got a deal in the works for a new Rolex. What okay, do you think? What sort of deal? What sort of deal? Well, I don't mean deal as in like some kind of crazy ripoff price. I just mean is a uh, steel sports new in the box with stickers card in my name. Like this kind of stuff is very hard to get. I was at I was at an AD today uh, here in suburban Chicago, and they had exactly. To, by the way, I love how you suck that noodle up. That was adorable, man, just so you know. Anyway, um, they had exactly two uh, Steel Sports watches. Both of them were Milgau, the uh, blue dial, green glass, and then the white dial. That is all they had. <coughs> We've got $5 from Aunt G, who is suggesting that it's the Sea Dweller 43. Now have the coronet between the Swiss made reflecting new movement. Do you think the SV43 non coronets will jump in value, but there is no. Uh, it, it, it's like any of this shit flat floors, inverted six, all this fucking uh, stuff, everything. The most minute. Of course, sheeple who buy these Rolexes are so fucking pedantic. The smallest details can have the most craziest outcomes. So. Um, it it very much could happen, okay? Very much could happen. I would rather have the one with the coronet there. However, yeah, I I, I, I I do understand. I agree. I agree with you there. So that's the that's the watch that I'm uh, that I'm working my deal on right now. What watch is that? Which one that are you? Exact, that exact watch. Oh, that Sea Dweller. Yeah, yeah, the forty three. Pull the trigger. What, what's holding you back? Why can't you just go and get it now? They're, they are nowhere to be found. Where do you get one? They are nowhere. To, I'm having to, I'm having to work out a, a waiting list arrangement. They're, they are nowhere to be found. However, I'm on a waiting list, and, and it looks promising. Okay. So. okay. At retail, no premium. Correct. And you can't. And yeah, that's correct. And you can't walk into a retailer and buy this right now. No, no, you can't. You can't. I just came back from Asia. And there is absolutely no steel sports. KL, they got angry when I, 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 I that's my shtick now. Whenever I go into a Rolex dealer, any, yeah. I want to buy a watch today. Oh, yes, sir. Come over to our date just. Uh, actually, I'm after a steel sports stunner. As soon yeah. as I say that, yeah. I, think Ving's a little, I think Ving's a little disappointed in Archie's negotiation skills. I think he was saying that Archie got his like, is there a discount? No discount? Okay, no discount. No, like, no you discount. sell yourself out of it. No problem. It's okay. No problem. It's Poor okay. man. Very hard. Very cool. <laughs> like, we were expecting a, a serious like Ukrainian negotiator to come out in Archie in the I've Hong Kong dealership. I've seen, I've seen Archie work an Uber driver, a taxi driver, harder than a Rolex. You know. They don't have stock. They didn't have the ones no. I wanted. You know, the thing about negotiation is that you have to, if you want to, negotiate well you have to actually be able to back your words up with actual dollars Pull out that black ah, yes 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 and you need to be able to walk away from the deal you need you to took be able cash to... you took cash and you put it on the table i think things might have changed mm, well i gotta tell you that the exchange rate from the malaysian ringgit to the aussie is fucked you're paying them <laughs> Fucked prices anyhow. So, so I, what did you I see in stock in Malaysia then? Aside from, like, was it what, what was there in the case? Uh, look, they 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 had a. Uh, I saw Explorer One. Mm -hmm. Um, I saw Milgauss, one Milgauss, okay. and I saw the Yacht Master, the solid gold rose gold Yacht Master on the rubber. 
I've seen um, a couple of ADs in Canada. I've seen Explore 2s, both dials in the case. Obviously, no discount. Um, $2. $2. $2 from Bruce, Dr. Bruce. Sounds like Nana Kim School of Negotiations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As long as I got the footage, that's all that matters. And I got busted badly. Did you see that footage where I was filming in the store? This fucking security guard looks at me like I'm fucking, uh, you, you, you know, he looks at me. Like I'm fucking, he looks at me, he's fucking this nasty stare. He says, you using camera? No, I'm not using camera. No, 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 no. And I, I click it. You can hear it click as I turn about it off. Year. You know what? About a year ago, I made a video, which is on my channel called I Got Arrested When Watch Shopping. And I was in Mexico City in, um, in a very, very super high-end mall, which is filled with boutiques. Like um, yeah. they have the, um, the Blanc Pong. Everything you can think of that's not Rolex and Cartier, because they have their own separate buildings, you know, in um, in Mexico City. But I was uh, I was accosted by numerous security men, like an entire pack of security guys, two of whom had um, uh, machine guns. <laughs> you know? That's right. That's a that. Hey, just very quickly, nine ninety nine super chat from Patrick McDonald, Long Jeans Heritage, nineteen sixty seven diver, or bear ball Aero GMT. Black red for under three as a beta. I'd say no. Get a Brightling Super Ocean Heritage. That's what I would get. Fuck that garbage. Long jeans is garbage. A ball is nice. A ball, but it's a ball is fucking foul. Fucking garbage. Yeah. I hate a ball less than less than nothing. I hate it less than fucking nothing. If you had to pick, I would hate ball less than fucking nothing. I would rather be stuck wearing a Zomo, a Zomo, a Zomo than a fucking ball. If you well, had to choose between Clyde's thirty-six millimeter Explorer that does nothing less than that does less than nothing for you, and my ball seventy-seven fifty chronograph. Which, which one does more for you? The one that does less than nothing for you or the one that you hate? i got to be honest with you. I actually would, would take the Explorer 1 any what? fucking day of the week. And I hate that watch less than <laughs> nothing. It does less than nothing for me. All right. Hold on. I've got to take a call from the cancer. <laughs> uh, you'll, um, you'll have your fair share of balls in, uh, in Brisbane City Prison. So. What's up? Yeah. We're live on the air. He's doing a deal. He's got a deal happen. It's your keeper. It's your keeper. Yeah. It's your power struggle. I think uh, the yeah. YouTube wars I seem to have lost. Okay, did you bye. like my video from from from? Did you like my promotion promotional video with the peacocks? Yes or no, guys? Put it in the comments. I'm not saying that. Jesus, what's Mark on about here? Okay, I'm back. Mark, did you like my promotional video with the peacocks? I didn't see it yet. You... Mark, it's on the Archie Luxury channel. It's one where they're, they're, they're mating. The peacocks are mating. Well, hang on. Let's, we can do a, uh, a reaction video to that right now. I can just tune right into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a look. Have a look. It's on Archie Luxury. Well, on Archie? All right, hang on. Let's, let's have a look. Come on, have a look. Come on, have a look for me. I'm looking. Hold on. Here we go. Is it from today? No, no, it's from a week ago. Uh, Go have a look. Cox mating. I don't even. Uh, I see the uh, a parrot, like a red one. Yeah, that's the one. Try that. All right, hold on. It's ten minutes, which means there's like five minutes of introduction, and then uh, thirty seconds of introduction, and and and, 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 and nine minutes of fucking. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there they are. They're doing it. Are you sick of these pretenders copulating with Oh, I see what's going on here. You're making an analogy from the peacock. Yeah, that's right. It's called, yeah, that's his irony, fuckers. Irony. Have you heard of it? Yeah, that, that's a, this is an intelligent, thoughtful video that I, that I really, I'm giving you some extra credit for this. So YouTube channel. Mind you, there's a little bit of masturbation going on here because there's some self-pleasure going on in this video. But nonetheless, I, I'm gonna say uh, you got the you got the wrong end of the of the peacock there, though. That's the <laughs> <best>. <laughs> however, uh, yes, very nice. 
Yeah, there you go. Well, you like that video. Did no one commented on it. I thought, gee, I thought that would be a... Well, no. I'm sure there's comments. Are you tired of being fucked over by other pretend YouTube channels? Well, there are comments. River Maddock, on that, I'm reading the comments off that video. R River said, where's the watch talk? Somebody else said it's safe to say that, oh, well, this is kind of nasty. You want to hear the mean comments? Because you know, sure. Sure, sure. I think it is safe to say many of your viewers are sick of being lied to, molested, Fucked, fisted, refried, being used as Okay, that's enough now. I can't handle any more negativity. Archie, that's Archie enough. That's pee. enough for the day. Oh, some of them are nice. Archie loves peacocks. Um, <laughs> Nine, <laughs> Neo, 999. Hello, humanity. Hello, Clyde. <coughs> uh, one, Paul, love you hard. I love you, Paul, hard. There we go. Thank you. No worries. That's That's great news. Have you, ever um, tried, have you ever tried Camagra, speaking of loving you hard? What's that? Camagra. It's, you know, all that fake, you know, all, all the fake, uh, you know, we, you know, dick pills that you can get in Thailand. Uh, no, I don't even like that stuff. You know that? I find that I... Um, Did you get to the 999 get, Super Chat by Neil? 999 Super Chat from yeah, Neil. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Sorry. But uh, yeah, if you if you take those, you can do uh, push-ups with no hands. You know, it only it only changes what's in your mind. Like it doesn't make you just walk around like that. It just it works on your. You make, you, make, you make your short time girl cry. That's for sure. <laughs> your short time girl cry long time. <laughs> short time girl, cry. yes, yes. Um, tell me this. Um, now I want to talk about Vin. Vin, who got the who yeah. got Tan? Tan got the. I want to talk about this Pepsi Tudor you bought there. This is what I really fucking now tell me, tell me, tell me the story, Tan. Where did you buy it? What did you pay? Tell me, tell me about it. I'm, I'm fucking. Uh, this is um, incredible. Tell me about the Pepsi you bought. Yeah. So there was a guy who was posting it on the Canadian Watch forums, and it was he had posted it for over retail quite a bit, um, okay. but then very quickly started like lowering the price, like feverishly lowering the price. So I was like, okay, let me, let me see how desperate this guy is. Yeah. So we start negotiating and whatnot, and then I'm able to negotiate under retail because I find out the guy is like, I think he's trying to get like, I think he bought a car or something like that, and he needed the money. Um, he's what just sort like, of car did he buy? Did I ask you what uh, sort of car? Yeah, no, I, I did ask him. He he bought a Honda S2000, so kind of a Ooh, impulse that's purchase. A vintage, yeah, that's a vintagey one. So they don't make the S2000 anymore. That's right. The uh, the the Roadster. But um, they are a well regarded car. I must say, they're fucking beautiful. What color? Did you know what color? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I don't know side sidetracking, nah, but nah, nah, nah. yeah, no, nah, I, I, I love cars. It. I love cars. You know me. You know me. So, anyways, so like he obviously, you know, was a little desperate, and so I pinged Ving and I said, Ving, look, like has you know, he had a so Mastercard? Uh, no. I don't. Yeah, I don't think he's buying a car and a credit card. Um, <laughs> but Why yeah, not? I mean, he was. I don't know. Like, I don't know what he was doing with the uh, with the car or whatnot. But that's the reason why he was selling, because I was like, well... And this guy had sold an SD43 on the forums and whatnot. And, you know, so he's he's got a decent amount of Rolexes. Um, so anyways, I, 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 I tell Vang, I said, look, like, you know, I know that you would put your name on a list, um, you know, if, if, you your AD. Buy, so buy it, buy it, buy it. I wouldn't want to buy it. So Vang, it obviously... Well, he's like, look, I already got the Glasuta, and, and, you know, I'll just wait for the AD to call me and whatnot. So I'm like, okay, well, then I'm contemplating it. And I'm like, yeah, what you know, was it? On a bracelet, on a strap? What was it? What was the combo? Tell me about the combo meal deal. I want to hear about the combo. What combo yeah. was it? Was it was it a Zinger burger? Was it was it was it the original chicken fillet burger? Was it was it gravy, mashed potatoes? Which combo was it? Yeah, it's the it's the bracelet one. I, I had to get the bracelet. I just so, yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not a fan. Box papers. Uh, stickers, on the bracelet. Because some of our viewers who are watching now, stickers are very, very important. Stickers yeah, or so, no stickers? So I do have the stickers, but they, you know, they're taken off. Obviously, the guy wore it a couple of times. Um, but I do have the stickers, box papers, the whole thing. Um, and yeah, I mean, it was it was the first one that popped on the forums. It was a couple of days ago. And yeah, the guy just had an impulse purchase on a car. And he's like, how much less than retail did you get it for? Uh, about 100 bucks less than retail. Yeah, okay. And he hey, paid retail for it, or did he have to pay a premium? What's his story on no, it? No, he paid. No, he paid retail. 
He's bought a is couple he, watches. Is he a big swinging dick guy? Does he have many watches, or this is a newbie? Tell me, tell me a bit more yeah, about. Yeah, like he he was like you know if you uh, like he knows obviously I come on the channel and whatnot, and he's like yeah I kind of wouldn't want my name getting out or what have you. And, and can, can we mention him for fifty bucks on Super Chat? Would you mention it? Uh, sure. I, let's see if someone will pull uh, up. I, I'm just I think the only we person who put 50 bucks we, would be me. So. We, don't, we don't need to embarrass him. That's okay. He sold a watch. That's okay. Uh, he, he only lost $100. That's not a fucking disaster. I mean, well, he's well, that, yeah, the, the, the sales tax. I'm guessing that uh, Tandy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, no. So, yeah. So it would be less including the sales tax. Yeah. So, hey, I have a kind of a stupid question about that watch. And um, that is, and I. I, I really should know this, but I haven't been able to find it. Is that a ceramic bezel flat? It's kind of like no, flat. it's not ceramic. It's not a ceramic bezel. It's, it's an aluminum. Bezel. It's just okay. like the black bays. They're but trying to differentiate from Rolex. They're not going ceramic because that's for their premium Rolex line. But the there's, an interesting, there's an interesting comment here, guys, but he might be. He also got the Tudor GMT, and he says his date gets stuck when changing at midnight, so he's had to send his back. Now, now Imad, I haven't got mine yet. The guy's shipping it out, um, like, right now, so I should either have it tomorrow or the day after, I guess. Um, but, yeah, I, I haven't heard that of date sticking issues with the, with the watch, but it's a new movement, so it's not surprising. could happen. Is that bezel, uh, it's not shiny like the uh, Black Bay is. It's, like, a, some kind of matte finish? It's a matte, right? yeah, it's a matte. <clears throat> I've tried it on. Like I tried it on during the Basel World release in Toronto, and it fits like a. It, it feels like a black bay on the wrist. So if you like the black you, bay, I, I think the black bay is forty-one mil. I think that is. I, I'm sorry to say this, but I think the black bay is better size case than the fucking forty mil Submariner ceramic. I'm sorry, that's just my opinion. What do you, I think it's perfect. I think that is the new norm. That is the new norm. Forty-two would be even better. No, I think the 41, because they've got a re it's really quite high, and yeah. the way they've done, no, I disagree. 41 is absolutely perfect. No, Mark, no, it is perfect. It Mark, is absolutely perfect. Mark, Mark is a size queen. Every, every millimeter matters. Every that's why minute. we never work out. Jim, that's why you and I never work out. And it's also why I flipped the um, why, I, why I flipped my Black Bay Burgundy, which I'm really sorry about. So I offered. I, I'm like I'm in the process of trying to rebuy that watch. <laughs> I think the one. I think the one thing Mark a lot of people don't consider is also the thickness of the watch, right? This it's very paper, thick. The black bay. Yeah. Oh, well, fourteen yeah, and a half. The GMT one is, but the black bay is, I think, only thirteen millimeters. No, so. this one. This the this yeah. The GMT is fourteen. But, but when I wore it, it felt like a, a black bay. I had a black bay at the time, um, and it felt like a black bay. However, I tried on the fifty-eight, and that actually fit really well. The thirty-nine millimeter was. It was a bit. It just felt like a better proportion in that sense. But like, you know, if you like the Black Bay, you know, the the, the size and the, the presence of that watch is really good. It feels really solid. Every time I've let someone who's not a watch person wear it, they're like, wow, this feels like a really good quality watch. Hey, by <laughs> the way, your balls say, suck. Your balls suck. Now, this is, this is a Rolex. Oh, this, this is a Rolex. So it must be cool then if it's a Rolex. <laughs> it's a big chunky Rolex. And, yeah, uh, I want to ask. I want to ask. Uh, so, Tan, are you excited? Tell me, are you chomping at the bit to get this piece? Tell me, how excited are you to get this thing? You know what? Like, yeah, I actually am. I've seen a couple of photos of people wearing it online and whatnot. And you know, when you look at the when you look at the insert, it looks mm. like a, it, it looks, looks like amazing. Vintage. Amazing! Yeah, it, it looks, looks amazing. It looks vintage compared to the, obviously the ceramic being. You know the newer type, the newer style. Um, Two dollars super chat from Doctor Bruce. Tudor Pepsi closer to six five four two. That's the old no crown guards uh, GMT. Yeah. Then Rolex near perfect. It, you betcha, Doc. He, he I, I got to tell you the truth. There, you know, I have my rule that I can't get more than one, one brand per watch. I would break it. I would break it for a paddock, and also a uh, Tudor Pepsi. I think yeah, the flip that, and that Tudor Pepsi is going to last in your collection six, six or seven months before you flip it. That's just my prediction. So we'll, I we'll see. And I, I have flipped to, and, <laughs> and not surprisingly, I have flipped two Tudor Black Bays. One the Etta version, yeah. and the other one was the in-house. I flipped the um, Etta version, and I'm rebuying it. I think maybe if the guy on eBay takes I think, my. But, I think the difference, though, Mark, of why I flipped it was because I have the Hulk already. Um, 
the so Hulk for is me, a great it's... watch. The Hulk is yeah. an absolute stunner. But I got to tell you, you have a Hulk, right? Which is a fucking yeah. grail. I don't care what anyone says. The Hulk, they are fucking crazy, man. In Australia, they are going for fucking ridiculous money. Do not sell your Hulk tan. You are not Ving allowed on the. Ving was not very impressed when he saw my Hulk in person. He was more excited by the JLC he just bought. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I like the Hulk. I, but I'm going to tell you, your sorry. I didn't. Um, that was the first time I actually felt the Hulk in person. I was actually really impressed with the, um, the dial. But obviously, I just bought a watch. Actually, I just I bought two watches that day. So I'm kind of you know. What did you? Know, did you buy? What other garbage did you buy? I bought. I bought this. I bought the uh, the compacts, the Universal Chanel. Wow! In solid gold. Yes, yeah, solid gold. Brand new. I don't. It's a vintage, it's a vintage one, isn't it? Hmm. Sorry. That's it is vintage. vintage. What yeah, year? Nineteen fifty-one. Fuck, and it works. Yeah, it works. How much did you pay a... for that? Uh I got it pretty cheap. Pretty cheap. How many mils is that? Thirty-five mil. Oh my God, you have a tiny little wrist. Like you have chicken bone. Like, put, put it up again. Put it up on the screen. That looks perfect for him. Fuck, that's just a. I got to tell you, that's. Uh, is that original dial or that's been redone? No, it's original dial. I don't buy redials. <laughs> the dial has a little bit of. Um... I got to tell you, just between you and me, this is one fucking thing about gin that I love, okay? The rancher before used to always fucking come on. Look at the watch I bought. I said, hang on a minute. Is that a redial? <laughs> and, you know, it'd just be fucked. This is the class of these new presenters. Jin doesn't buy read. Of course you don't fucking buy a redial. The watches, it's all about the dial, fuckers. It may not be all about the money, but it's all about the fucking dial in sports watches. You know, we have a $10 super chat, Paul, that I think you might want to read yourself. Yeah, here we go. Tan Zeal, $10 super chat Canadian. The rancher hasn't purchased anything significant since being tossed aside by the pontiff. He's on a horological fast and is soon opening the rancher's church of shitter day saints to compete. <laughs> I got to tell you, I love the Clivers. I do love my Clive. I do love him. I've trained him. I've... Uh, I've given him all the essence, and now he's making his way in the world by himself. I've done my job as a pontiff and a guru, and uh, I'm very, very proud. He's a bit like the uh, the Catholics who separated to start the charismatic Catholic movement. So you've get, you've given basically you've given him the tools, and now you're encouraging him to fly the nest, fly free, fly exactly. High. The only thing is, you know, sometimes it's always nice. When you uh, a church branches off, you always kick a little bit back to the original oh, ministry. Yeah. Back to you. The you do a bit. Of, it's called tithing. Tithing. Okay. I really think the rancher should tithe to my channel. Does that make sense? Because I gave him the tools. Tithing, fuckers. Tithing. I'd like to see him tithe. Okay. You can look at the description for 10 ways you can keep Archie Luxury full time on YouTube. Exactly. I got to tell you, that's um, that, that actually Universal Compacts is cool. So you got that and you got the glass suit. Show me the glass suit. No, I, no, I, that was, um, this was the, I bought this on the same day that I bought the Reverso. Oh, okay. Glass suit to you just shot your heart. Jim, you shot your horological load in like one, in, like in one fell swoop. One of the guys yeah. says you have some rule on your chin, by the way. No, I don't have anything on my chin. Now, just... <laughs> I wanted to ask you, uh, Tan, I'm just fucking amazed. You, you managed to get a Pepsi. Can you please bring it on the show when you can before you put it on another show? Oh, can yeah. You for promised sure. me I'll, that. I'll, I'll, I'll have it for Friday. So I'll do okay. it. I'll do it I, wanted, I wanted to ask you, uh, are you excited? Yeah, I'm really excited, actually. Like I, like I said, I've, I've tried it on before, and I've been seeing a bunch of photos of it online and stuff like that. And I just are I they really... are they are they available in stores? Have you seen? I've them ha available? I haven't. Yeah, I haven't seen it come into any 80s near me. 
this was the first one that actually hit the Canadian forums or it was even presented on the Canadian forums. So this was likely the first one that was sold. Um, there are, they are around some of them on the forums. Now, what I'm looking at, they're selling because the US price I think is like 3,900 US. And I think they're selling yeah. a couple of hundred dollars above retail right now. They're not selling like double or anything. They're not like the, <laughs> the Rolex GMT, but they're, they are still selling for above retail. I have a quick question. Uh, we have because we have a question from the peanut gallery. Jim, do, just real quick, do you have any more noodles available to you? No. Oh, that's a shame well, because we, we have a question as to how much it would cost to have you suck one noodle at a time live on the show. Well, we can order more noodles if you want. <laughs> I suppose. How, what would it take? Ten bucks. Fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. And then so Archie, let me ask you, you have, the, you have the same money, you have the same, you know, four or five thousand, whatever it is, well, to spend go. on, you know, to, to spend, why, why would you not get the glass suta? Oh, look, the same money, you've got to get the tutor, the tutor is the hottest fucking watch on the planet at the moment, I, any chance to get a GMT with snowflake hands, I'm there, you've got Rolex resale values, I'm not convinced it's going to, you're sort of tan you're sort of saying oh you can get them for retail i think it's going to be a lull before the storm i think these will start shooting up once people realize they're not so easily available so um i gotta be honest with you the glass hoot is just it's less than nothing absolutely less 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 than nothing i've got as much interest in getting a glass hoot as i have of becoming a window window cleaner at patronus towers or becoming a cable technician on the langkawi cable car mm. okay that's because that's... the cables would collapse if you were a cable technician <laughs> well i gotta <laughs> tell you there guys i've got there's no way in, uh, the the tutor is so exciting i mean this is a rolex movement gmt it's got the new movement, uh, Rolex movement. It's got the new case. It is fucking perfect. Does the movement function the same way the uh, the Rolex GMT movement functions with the uh, with the jumping hour hand and no quick yeah, set? Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. Nice. I like that. Happens that so, saying the the, the Tudor fifty eight might be just as popular. And I actually haven't seen one hit the market. Um, like I said, I've tried one of those on the, the 39 mils being a little slimmer. Um, you know, I think the proportions, you know, if you don't like the heft of the, the black bay, I think the 58 will appeal to a lot of people who just were turned off by that, you know, the large size of the black bay. You know, I picked up, uh, I was at the authorized dealer today, as I said, and I picked up a, um, a 2018, 2019 Rolex catalog and, um, it's got the, the new Pepsi with the Jubilee. Yeah, it's got the Pepsi on the cover. It's a great catalog. It does. It's very nice. And I just got one today because um, I'm looking for that Seagull or 43. But the interesting thing is, although the Batman is in the American version of the website, it is not in the catalog. So that, that makes me wonder if the plan isn't to just kind of sell out. The, the no, they, they do that. Like sometimes in catalogs, they didn't have the polar or they had the black one. And then it was it's just sometimes they just do that to circle jerk with you Rolex. Fuckers. Get you because yeah, the, uh, I, I wouldn't be too concerned with that. Because I didn't notice anything else missing in any other version of any of the watch lines that I'm real familiar with. So, for example, in the Explorer, they did show both color dials. Or in the Explorer, too. You know, my only concern with Tudor is, is the whole rumor of movements being replaced. You know, and, and whether it's just maybe it's just a new movement, the in-house movement being so new that they're doing it for R&D purposes, which is what I've heard as well. Like, I, I just don't like the idea of them not a, servicing the movement and actually just replacing them. Now, there's not a lot of validity to either side, but if that is the case, it's definitely not uh, appealing. I, 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 to be honest with you there, I... Um... I'm not very happy with that whole movement thing. Has that been confirmed by Rolex that they will definitely change the movement? Has that been confirmed I, by a I've Rolex heard, service I've, center? 
I've heard, heard like. Is this just is this just fake news? Is it fake news or is it real? And do you have an option when you send it in? Do you have an option? Can I ask you that? So the people that I know that have had it replaced didn't have an option, but it's hearsay, right? It could just be that the movements are so new that they're, you know, obviously replacing them and, and checking the movements to see from an R and D perspective, you know, what went wrong and what have you, because these movements are very new. So, eh, I mean, I don't know if it's going to be a policy to replace movements. Um, and I, I just can't see the, longe the longevity of okay. that happening. Just hang on there. I'm going to make a call now. Okay. I'm going to ring the Rolex service center in my part of the world because they're open and ask them because i've got a a tudor black bay heritage <laughs> i'll ask them if i send it in i've heard rumors that they change the movements when they service it do you want me to ask them yes please hey, Tom, we will see. <laughs> let's see okay. let's go ah uh, hello there is that the rolex service center yeah Hello. Hey, I've got a tutor. I got a tutor. You do tutor as well, don't you? Hello. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. I just wanted to ask you. I heard a rumor that when I send the tutor in for servicing, instead of actually servicing my actual movement, they take the movement out and put a swap. They swap the movement for another one that's already on the shelf. Have you heard of? No. Uh huh. What 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 models that? What model do they do that on? Okay. The North Flag. Oh. How, how about because I got the Black Bay. You know, the, I got a Burgundy. They get serviced. Oh, so it's only the North flag that that happens with. Oh. Oh, is this actual real educational content on the archaeology channel? Yeah, I'm, I'm shocked. <laughs> this is <laughs> actual serious stuff. I see. Amazing. We're going to have to eat a beef and read to turn this around. Okay. No, we sh shut it down. Something. This is This is not right. We can't do this. Or a sucker horn when you need them. So that's only on certain models, only the North flag at the moment, but okay. How much is a service on a Black Bay um, $800 Aussie? Okay, look, thank you so much for answering my question. I really appreciate it. And I, I think I've got a couple of, uh, it's only a couple years old, so I've got a bit, bit more up my sleeve. You sort of, rec okay five years okay thank you so much <laughs> bye sounds sorry good. about that guys um what? i just had i rang the you... service I, I could not i could not actually um have her voice on the show because uh i, I don't want to get into trouble i don't want hassles with rolex um i've had enough you know, I don't want I don't want hassle in my life. I just want everything. I just want to do nicely. She said it's only the North flag they do that on, and you actually. She said if you wanted to, it's more expensive, but you can actually get your own one serviced instead of swapping the movement. It's an option. Hmm. That's interesting. And why the North flag would be? Well, I, it could be just some North flags because the North flag was the first tutor to be yeah, released. The first moment, yeah. And the original ones, they'd be out of warranty right now. So if they, they probably, ha their movements probably have some uh, improvements that haven't been, uh, that weren't made at that time. So Archie, we got a couple of super chats coming here. We got a New York puncher for two bucks. AC3, do curvy Latinas do anything for you? I got to tell you, curvy Latinos in my part of the world, we don't really have many Latinos, okay? uh but i gotta tell you there i have seen some latin porn and i like what i've seen i like them i really i've 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 seriously considered going to mexico city just for the ladies you should pull up the, v your, the, the vhs copy of the latin porn that you've seen because I, I highly doubt you didn't get them on dvd i'm pretty sure you're one of those guys who used to like stick 
then rewind mm -hmm. and then and then you know <laughs> pause actually, the VHS tape. Actually, I've got better than VHS. It's Betamax. Oh, so Peter, Peter Max. Peter yeah, Max. Peter Max. <laughs> Peter Max. That was a system developed by Sony. Okay. Don't preceded Peter, VHS by about a week. Peter Max was the, the industry leader, okay? Yeah, for about a week. It was the better system, okay? You still have an A-track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I but I, I, only about three of the tracks work at the moment. <laughs> um, I got to tell you seriously, um, Latinos, I love, I love a good Latino. Don't get them angry. Don't get them angry. They are fucking you nasty. Mean, you mean a Latina, not a Latino? Oh, here Dr. we go. Bruce, Dr. We have two dollars from Doctor Bruce. He says Latin porn discussion. Now we're back on track. Sorry that we talked watches for a couple minutes, guys, but. You've got to turn it around. We're, we're okay now. Well, this is where the Dr. BBW name came from. Someone super chat something about porn. Yeah. And then Bruce, Bruce was talking about large women. So mm -hmm. I dubbed him Dr. BBW and ever since. So. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, we have a couple more super chats. Uh, Richard Greenberg, 549. What mm -hmm. Glasuta did I get? Um, it was the senator. With the big date and the Flieger dial. Can you show it on the screen so that we can see it and have Archie like no, I, beat you I, up on I, it? I just paid for it. I'm, I'm still waiting for no, it. No, no. Can so... you like put up the model on the screen? Like. Oh yeah, sure. While he's doing that, a eh, uh, Archie. So uh, Ving really likes the North Flag. That's the tutor he really uh, thinks is 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 a good one. He's all he's obviously yeah. a big Explorer fanboy and that's the one that's also very close to the Explorer. When I when he told me that I'm like you fucking love you have the Explorer, you love the Explorer and you'd be considering a North Flag, but they're kind the of Bumblebee? very similar watch. That, that yeah, the Bumblebee he likes that. I like it. It's it's different and it's um it's modeled after the 1530, which was the original. Uh, the, the, it's it's modeled after the 1530, which is a watch I really like. 1530, it's a Rolex, you mean? Yes. It, yes. It, the 1530 went on some sort of expedition, and um, the North Flag is modeled after that. If you look at mm -hmm. Tudor's mm -hmm. website. I, I, I love the Ranger. I love the Rangers. Do you love the Rangers? The Ranger's cool, but it has an ETA movement, so it's kind of... They never stop Pam. <laughs> so I'll, I'll, um, I'll share it right now. Our ball. Um, So it's this glass huta. So it's uh, this one right here. Ah, jeez, that's boring. <laughs> that's a big thing. <laughs> that's it? It's a big thing, yeah. A so big thing. I think Brucey joined too. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's, that's all it? you got? <laughs> that's it? Yeah. Fuck. Okay. I think there's more to the dial, though. I think there's more to the dial that's not showing up in that picture. No, I mean, that that is that is the watch. It's a. Uh, I mean, what's wrong with it? Okay, I'm trying, 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 trying to be nice by not saying anything. I'm just, Isn't there an interesting pattern I, to the I, dial? At least I noticed. I got. I got to tell you this. I, I never. I never shared this story. But the first day I got the uh, Salida Movement Monaco, which you buy for the sexy looks. Okay, I had this woman who offered to fuck me for free. Was she going to use a strap on, or how was exactly that? No, going no, it, it was. It was just. It was very freaky. It's a true story. So. There is an aura to the Steve McQueen. The Not Steve like McQueen all the is other the stories. Yeah, there's an aura <laughs> to the Steve McQueen watch that is just beyond cool. And uh, yeah, so was yeah. this a woman? Was this a woman who was like in her prime back when Steve McQueen was the man? So I mean, this is why you like have Mrs. Monaco. Lie. The Monaco allows you to relive those the glory days of your youth. Yeah, it was a little bit like that, but but I mean, look, the thing is this: you've got to remember, it's not always about the movement. Okay, <laughs> that's what it's about—the passion. It's about the passion. 
Dr. Bruce, that's what my ga my gastroenterologist said the exact same thing. It's not always about the movement. Not always the movement. <laughs> it's the it's the passion. But I, I got to tell you, I'm really impressed that uh, Tan was the first one to get the fucking GMT. I must and, confess. And, well, and I was gracious enough to pass it to Ving first. Yes. I, ac friend. I actually, I, I don't know if I've told you this, I'm on the waiting list for one myself, okay? Ooh, that's exciting. The first day Archie yeah. pays retail, that'll be, uh, that'll be the day. No, right. he's going to get a discount. Archie is an aggressive negotiator. Well, I'll Please. tell you, Mark, there's, there, Archie, there's been some inconsistencies. Like, mm -hmm. yesterday I released that you had put up a new book, a new Kindle book out on your Luxury to Last, and I posted it on, on Facebook. And there was a couple of free pages for people to read, and somebody on Facebook found that, you know, you wrote in the book, you know, if you want to see some free things, free photos, go to my YouTube channel, Archie Luxury, and they wrote, Archie doesn't do shit for free, but he's advertising this in his book. It's called a teaser, a teaser, you know, a teaser to get them into. I, uh, I need a drink. Oh, Lafroy 10. Well done. Oh, my God. I thought you'd already had that. Are you in the no. office? No, no, no. I don't. That's the one place I don't drink. My God. Once you start breaking those, once you start breaking rules there for it's, drinking. It's a slippery yeah. slope. It's a slippery Very slope. Slippery slope. Okay, gotta... New York punter, two dollars. Any updates on the precautions you must t t take before the talk? The talk. Well, I don't know. The talk is always. Maybe that's why I'm single now. You know that. The talk. Speaking of the talk, the uh, the Teddy Baldazar video finally got released. It was yeah. Fun. I think Der Stiefel posted it today, saying it's finally been released in its full version. Well, I don't know if it's the full. I haven't seen the whole thing, but if it's edited or unedited, but uh, I think it's up now, finally. Yeah, yeah. I hope. Fuck me dead. That guy is just a soft cock, you know. That doesn't sound good. No, nah, he's, well, he's cool. He's cool, but he's when, just fucking. Yeah. He got threatened by this imposter, and uh, anyhow, it's all cool. It's all going well. So. It'll be worth its weight in gold. There, he's got some great interviews there. He 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 really has got some some really popular people have done shows with him. So guys, I've been prick teased. Okay, I was going to sell my Pam and get a California dial. That deal, I think my Pam. This is not the first time I've been tried to do a deal with it. I think it's the universe saying, "Don't sell it, Archie. Keep your Pam." I quite like the submersible. I, I, I love that model. The only thing I must say, it's an absolute fucking bitch to change straps. Absolutely fucking bitch. I'm going to make a video how to change straps on a pan really? very soon. What, 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 why? Well, you got to push, push this thing here. There's a little hole. You push in and press at the side oh, at the same time. Oh, yeah. Nice and thing. it's a fucking bitch. It's a love, fucking bitch. I love your strap changing videos. Get in there, you little cunt. Come on, you fuck face. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta make a classic, classic strap changing video. That's what the yes. world. That's what they need. I need. They need a. It's just an absolute. And I, there's this. There's, yeah. there's, there's another one on YouTube. This guy's got music. He shows how to do it, and it all works. I mean, fuck. What sort of video is that? You want a realistic video where the fucking thing doesn't work. There's swearing, there's blood, there's guts. You know what I mean? There's a scratch. You think, fuck, I fucked it up now. You know, you just gotta... After that, I think you should actually sell the toothpick that you used to change the strap. Yes. yes. Remember when you sold toothpicks? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I sold everything, you know? You did. Yeah, I'm on the Pam, I used to have a Pam five, and it was you know it was a screw. You, it was just literally the screw, and and that was it. It was very simple. Yeah, the screw That's the best one. That is the fucking yeah. best one. They were very easy to do this trap. And that was, and it was obviously the most enjoyable part of owning that because, um, I mean, I'm fortunate because combat straps is literally like an hour and a half away from me, so I could get straps done very quickly and, and at my door. But um, you know, I definitely recommend those guys if you have Pams or you, you like straps or whatever. Uh, combat straps make some excellent like custom made straps. How much are they? I mean they're pricey. Like you're you're looking, you know, at least a hundred dollars. Um 
That's as and much as the watch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> but they do it in all different types of like leathers. They do like ostrich belly, ostrich leg, uh, stingray, alligator. They do gator. Um, they do hornback gator as well. So they have a whole different array of, of, of materials and stuff. Some of these fuckers aren't in the wild anymore. I wonder why. You know, my, my friend just bought a, um, he recently bought a pen 510 and um, he went out and bought uh, an ostrich leg strap and a um, stingray strap, like the two coolest straps from um, combat straps. New York punter, $2, two George Washingtons towards the Dan Murphy Fund. Thank you. New York punters. So I've got to have lunch with this guy today. I'm a bit angry. Tell me this. What should I do? He stitched me up on this deal. He was going to buy the Pam, and now he's backed out of it, but he still wants to do lunch. And I think a free feed is a free feed. Order, what are you guys? Grab on the feed bag and order something expensive. Why is it that people who want to buy watches from you ask you like 10 million stupid-ass questions, and then once you've answered them all and sent every freaking picture that they possibly could ask for, they tell you, well, I can't afford it. But they knew the fucking price before they even started the round of like 15 different emails and texts and questions. I hate people who want to buy watches. Now I understand why you get like royally crazy when people look at buying some of your watches. It's a, it's a giant circle jerking time waster. They're lying yeah, to you and they're lying to themselves. Well, especially the guy who, who wastes his time on the 5110. Like, I remember listening to that story and I was like, Jesus Christ, like this guy. And it's the same guy who sold it to the Russian dealer, right? This is the same person, isn't it? Yeah, because he, he, he didn't buy my 5110. He ended up uh, he paid me for consultancy to find him a watch. He got a 5230, which is the current model white gold world time. And then he sold it to a Russian. I mean, if you sell anything to a Russian dealer, you are selling too cheap. They're cunts, cunt, cunts, absolute the nastiest fuckers on the planet. And I can so say that because I got a bit so of what? Russian in me, see, so I'm allowed to s tell the truth. So what did he end up uh, buying? Count, but that you? was your first wife. Sorry? I said that was your first wife. Ah, uh, boom, boom. Boom, boom! Yes, yes, yes. Someone asked that, if you were willing to make a watch strap from the horns. That's an interesting proposition. I, I'm still going to see the doctor. I've had a couple problems. I'm, I'm actually going to reboot the weight loss program soon. I'm willing to help you on that. And if you'd like to get a head start on that, can the punters uh, buy you some booze and pizza today? <laughs> that's actually not. That's the opposite of yeah, right line. No, 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 Mark. Mark, it's like doing a. Um, it's like doing a Scandinavian flick when you're driving. You have to go a little. It's it's easier when you start at a higher weight. Five dollar yeah. super chat. Drink up, big boy. Thank you. I don't mind if I do. I'll go to Scotch for myself. I must say this. I remember being in a food court a couple months ago, and this is when I was start rebooting. And I'm thinking, you know, there is absolutely nothing here that is healthy to eat. I was about to tell you, you're in the wrong place to start your reboot if you're at a food court. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. We should all start with something simple. And, you know, let the punters, you know, pledge $5 or $10 mm -hmm. each. And we all join the no fap movement. What do you think? Mm -hmm. What do you think of the no fap? I got to go and get a, I got to get a glass and a scotch. Excuse me, boys. <laughs> all right, Paul's got to go fap right now. <laughs> all right. Pull out your chronos. Hit the start so, Bruce, button. did you hear about uh, marketing on the list for the SD43? I did not hear that. Yeah. So it's hopefully, a... hopefully I will conclude a deal soon. And so, I mean, that's pretty close. I think so. Sounds promising. Wow. It's yeah. a cool watch. I mean, we, uh, when Ving and I met up in Toronto, there was another uh, fan of the channel, Ronnie Paul, who has an SD43, and he, bought it, he brought it with him. And I was actually surprised at, like, how well it fit. Like, I thought it would be, like, a really big, you know, just yeah. watch that I wouldn't be interested in. But it actually fits really well. Well, Mark, you, you wear all all your watches are pretty big for the most part, right? So that's not even an issue. Well, you know what you know what they say, Bruce. Bigger is better. Here's the uh, here's the SD. Here's this one. This is the James Cameron, and it's 17 millimeters thick, and it just it's, it's like wearing a brick on your wrist. 
So the um, the SD43 is a little more humane, I think, to wear. And have you ever tried one on, Mark? No. Okay, that's the other thing. I'm going in blind, fuckers. I'm just diving right in. I'm going I, in blind. I don't, it's a blind. I don't think we, We're getting married. I don't think you'll be disappointed. It's it's a really it's a perfect size, scary. Mark. It's the perfect it's size. It's fucking amazing. I'm really glad to hear that because this is like an arranged. This is. I'm sorry that Hisham isn't here because this is like an arranged Indian marriage. I'm just mm. basically marrying somebody I've never met before. And I have to pay a big dowry of chickens and goats to do it. And you know, I the really funny thing is, Marky, you know, the reality is arranged marriages last, they have a higher success rate than love marriages. Did you know that? Good business transaction is always, uh, it's always appreciated. Yeah, exactly. Because you have to learn how to, you have to learn how to love. You have to commit. Have you guys ever been to an Indian wedding? Like I, um, I, if any of you guys are, I, I actually I, have. Are you I not have. going? You're going soon. Why am I not invited? No, I, I did go. I was actually already there. Um, I so what, what, I, what I'm going to tell you is, there's nothing. Or, like, the only thing that's not arranged is like I, they can arrange the fucking wedding, but they can't arrange like you know when you actually go to get the food. The buffet is never arranged. It's like you got like herds of people like just going to the buffet. They're like table four and five, please go to the buffet, and like tables twenty and twenty six are going. Like so it's there's like nothing arranged about. Is that the way it's supposed to be? Chinese tourists. I didn't remember that. Yeah, it's it's, it's it's you know for an arranged marriage, and it's not a lot that's actually arranged. Wow. Okay. Clooney watches. watches. $2. Arch, have you ever met a lawyer you can trust? <laughs> fired. Wow. <laughs> Look, the, the only shots thing is. fired tonight for sure. I got to tell you, the only time, the only thing worse than a, the only thing nastier than a lawyer is when you really need one. Speaking of which, and, how, um, speaking of which have you ridden the train lately? <laughs> I got to tell you, I'm going to trial in, in October. Going to trial. Negotiations didn't work. They wanted they wanted me to go inside, and I said no. I don't want to do that. I got something called a defence. So negotiations have failed. We're going to trial, big boys. Inside, so, as in the pen, the slammer, the big house. We're going. I to thought trial. you could go to jail for not even showing up. I thought you could go to jail for not participating. It depends which ones. It depends which, which sometimes you can send your legal representative to do that for you. Got it. You can hire somebody to serve your jail sentence. Wouldn't that be nice? No, no, no. This is to, to act for you before court in court in court. Wow. <laughs> They're never sweating as much as you are, though. <laughs> yeah, the, the attorneys will say, well, I tried. Sorry. Who's typing? That's Archie. <laughs> he's, ty he's, ty he's typing a letter to his lawyer after reading Bear Clooney's super chat. He's like, I would like to cease all services. <laughs> you know, Archie, that, uh, that conference, we were just saying that that, that call you had with Rolex was actually the most relevant and educational content you've had on the channel mm. in years. Well, actually, fact, it, my head almost exploded with that. You remember we, when? Yeah. We thought oh, we were just going to leave. Like, well, you, you got this. You don't need us here. <laughs> you, you can take care of the live stream. I remember hidden camera in the Apple store in the mall. That was one of my all time favorites. Mm. Be rating, be rating I, I actually, guys, I was actually interested in this video where he was talking about his longest standing watch being the JLC. I thought mm. that was a good video. Mm. Mm. Well, you know, it has meaning to you, right? You don't want to sell it. No, no, that's exactly it. And the JLC is unsellable anyhow. You know that, Ted. There's, one of the there's best, only so I, many bins to come along. I think one of the best comments in that video was, kept the watch, got rid of the wife. <laughs> they fucking said. It's like his version of The Godfather. <laughs> This is why so many people are buried in a Jega La Coultra. Well, and I, honestly, Archie, that's exactly how the sale happened with Ving. Him and I were just talking on, on Google Hangout and like, I was saying, hey, like, you know, I, I, you know, I want to get another watch. And 
I need, I might need to get out of my JLC, but it's going to be a fucking bitch to, to mm. sell it. Mm. I'm going to have to be waiting for the right buyer to come along that knows what the watch is realistically. Yeah. Yeah. You and... need an educated, a sophisticated investor it's called. And yeah. And that's when Ving was like, yeah, you know what? I, I'd be interested. Um, and okay. I, think, I think you gave him a gift. The price you sold it to him fucked me dead. That is. I think it was a win win. I think it was a win win because uh, Tan got to deal with somebody that he knew was reliable. Yeah, and, and that's basically what I got it for, Archie. I had got it at a point where the, the nine seven there was a couple of nine seven six sixes mm. on the market and I'd beat the guy down pretty pretty low. So I told Ving, I was like, look, I just want to get out of it and what I paid and yeah, like, you know, at least for me, then I can just move on and, and get something else that I, I want to I get, must so. tell you, the only problem I had with my reverso when I owned it and I owned a Calatrava is every occasion where you'd wear the reverso, you wear the Calatrava. can see that well let's say it's a black tie of well you had a white gold color trauma though so mm. the white gold color trauma is, is very formal right mm. so mm. if you're going to dress up that's the ultimate watch we but got a let's say you... sorry we got a 499 super chat from patrick mcdonald archie speedy tuesday alaska project not ultraman or tintin I personally I, t I just go for the standard one and buy something else with the money that's left over why don't you just buy but, a standard one? But if it was between those two, which one would you get? The, the original Speedy Tuesday tin, or Tintin? Tintin. 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 Tin, tin. I think I, I think outside of that, I'd, I'd get a uh, I'd get a standard Speedmaster if you really like the Ultraman look, like I do. Get a standard Speedmaster and. Uh, Let's just, swap, it blows, blows my hand. mind, Bruce, like at how fucking, I mean, they're selling this Ultraman for $7,100. You know, and like, spe Speedies are going for what, 32 33 34 something like that? Like, if you get them off Joma Shop, like, fuck. And and it, if you look at it also, I mean, they, they, did, they did do the dot over 90, which was a nice, you know, nice uh, homage back to the original, but then they put the tack the tacker meter in, in orange and they put some other stuff in orange and they just put too much orange on that watch. I think they over and, and it costs a lot more than regular Speedmaster. and It doesn't even come on a bracelet. Mm. Now, I will say that, that, that I hate it's that an applied logo. It's an applied logo. So that's something I think, I mean, it makes it, yeah, nice. that's worth double the price, right? The applied fucking logo. Yeah. <laughs> well, but no, I think I, I, you know, I mean, I, I got my eight, six, one for six grand. I think you could still get one for maybe seven. I got my eight, six, one for six. It's got the applied logo. I swapped the hand off of eBay a hundred bucks for that. It's an Ultraman look and I love it. Well, I'm trying to get a so three, two, one for 7602. So. Uh, no, that's 10,001, 10,002, 10,003. So, Archie, if you don't know, uh, <laughs> Bruce and I are on a bidding war to, to get the Ranchers 321. But we have a feeling he'll just, you know, gift it to, to Ving in his will or something. So, Because Ving's his, ado his adopted son. What you no, need to do... do he'll what give it to Max if he gives it to anyone. What you need to do is find a really ugly Zenith and then offer him a swap. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> a redial. That was... A, a, redial. Long, but a I, redial. The redial triple date, 35 mil. Uh, I'm laughing with you, Rancher, not at you. Yeah, we like the Rancher. We're all good. Yeah, we. I, even I love the Rancher, but I do encourage him to tithe. He should tithe back to the head church. Does that make I don't sense? I if you're allowed to tithe on YouTube. I, I think they have this, uh, this ban against tithing on YouTube. I don't know. No, it's called being a tired ass, Doc. <laughs> yeah, I just don't I, get this whole yeah. like the Ultraman. Like, think, think, think of how much money they made, Bruce. Like, you know, like fourteen point two million. It was a nice, in, under two hours. A well calculated gimmick on that. I can't believe that so many people are speculating on that. I mean, a lot of people bought that watch, totally speculating. And that's why they sold out. But it's just amazing. As far as Omega's concerned, they don't care as long as it was purchased. Well, I've heard rumors as dealers that are speculating, and dealers are cropping up all the all the supply. It's, it's, it's probably yeah, a whole that's... bunch. It's probably dealers. It's probably you know. It's probably uh, you know unauthorized dealers. You know, only uh, Rolex does the rigged there. market. Only Rolex does the rigged market game. But um... it, it, I think if you look at that watch, though. 
Um, I think it's overdone. I think I think the original Ultraman was just enough. You know what? Like these days, with the, with the speedy becoming, you know, it's going on Joma Shop and and the price is going down and stuff like that. It's kind of losing that that you know that special piece to it that it's like you know like I'm seeing people who rent to Oruses and Hamiltons buying them now because they're they're pretty accessible, right? So it's kind of like you know I love the speedy for you know its history and heritage and all that jazz, but like you know with it kind of going down market in that sense, it's not really I don't know. It's not I as think appealing. It's, I- I think it's all because people are realizing this whole moon landing thing was fake. And so now the watch is going down in value. It's, it's, it's unfortunate, but that's what happens. Well, Archie broke the news from that like a couple years ago that the moon landing was fake and uh, buy a speedy Friday because that's the last one you're going to get. It's the last one available. That's it's very sad, original. but that's what happens. That's what happens. <laughs> I got to tell you, um, Tan, I'm so excited for you to get that Pepsi. GMT Tudor. Um, I, think, I think if it didn't have the snowflake hands, it would be perfect, perfect. I love the yeah, they snowflake wouldn't, they wouldn't hands. Do, yeah, they wouldn't do their Mercedes hands on it. The snowflake too. hands are better. I think that's better, Doc. Yeah, yeah you well, get two I mean, hands. Uh, well, I think that, you know, obviously they're going for the vintage, the vintage Rolex look, and if they just went the whole thing, that would make, to me, that would be Perfect. I mean, but I want to ask you I, guys. I still Twenty dollars super chat from Sam France. Pizza fun. Thank you. Four ninety nine super chat from S R Bell sixty seven arts. Would you let Squail O'Neill sexually facially abuse you Sequeal. and then finish? Squail O'Neill sexually facially facial abuse you and then finish inside of you for one million? No, that's one millimeter. <laughs> Uh, oh, one millimeter. I think US. it's one million baht. I I do it. I do it for a hundred thousand. You're you're bargaining the wrong direction. <laughs> now I know why you don't get good deals at the authorized dealer. This, this is truly the, the this is truly the Nana Kim school of negotiation. <laughs> you're like. <laughs> Just give me one shampoo. You'll, no, here's five thousand. You'll, you'll, you'll get it down. A million? No. A hundred? No. <laughs> Good comment there from Robert Padilla. Dr. BWW, you know the Earth isn't the center of the universe, right? I, 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 uh, I never said it was. What, what is that, Copernicus? We got Copernicus in the, uh, in the chat room? Yeah, I, 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 I'm just, I'm just, hey, I'm just commenting on, on science and, and you know, that's all I'm commenting. On. So, guys, I want to tell you, um, is there any uh, uh, Bear Clooney sent me a message? Love you, Paul. Thank you, Bear Clooney. Um, I wanted to ask. I really would love a Tudor. GMT Pepsi. I think it's uh, an amazing watch. Um, Two dollar super chat. NY punter. Clive's ego is bigger than the pot than a pro prof. Now fuck off. Five dollar super chat. Tanzil Archie. Try to use your best French to pronounce these name. Jacquet Dross. Blank pain. Blank pain. Giga Lucutra. <laughs> Clive, minuscule, cog, dangler, bouvet, flurrier. There we go. $5 super chat from M. Bernard. Guys, looking at a Brightling Superation, any good for a first watch? It's a heritage. I, I reckon the Super Ocean Heritage is just a fucking fantastic watch. I love it. I love it to death. Absolutely love it. Um, it's good bang for buck. Surprisingly... It's quite, buy it on the used market. Do fun. not buy got, Brightling New. I've got, one, I've got the Chrono version for sale. Look on my channel. I have a video up for that. No worries. I don't know about the Chrono being a diver. I've always found it a bit of a compromise. Good to 500 meters. So if it's I know, chrono, but it's there's too many meters, holes right? there. There's too many that's holes she, to... That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Okay, well, that was a showstopper. Sorry, guys. Keep yeah, going. No, no, no. Keep going there. That's exactly it. But it's 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 46 mil, though, right? Right, Mark? No, no, no. It's 42. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah it's, it's an older one. It's, you know, it's, it's vintage-y. It has a really nice concentric circle dial. You could you could look on you could look on the YouTube and find it. Honestly, Mark, like I'm I'm still surprised. And I know Archie is the one brand, one watch for brand type of guy, but like I can remember when you used to have the Navitimer Archie in your collection and you know, to me the Navitimer is, is the quintessential bright one. Yeah, I love I absolutely love the Navitimer, especially with the B zero one movement. I think I only had the fucking Valju 7750, the fucking noisy, noisy, noisy movement. But it's I gotta like, tell you, I think I gotta tell you something Navi though about the yes. net. Yes, Navitimers. The Navitimer is harder to read. I have a friend with one, and then I oh no, they are the heritage. The heritage is much easier to read it. Oh no, 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 doctor, no, doctor, do you are you buying watches to tell the time? With? Yeah, who who reads watches like what? Read watches. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. What, what the hell am I doing? Why? What? A, what's the world coming to? Like Archie, the doctor is a, is a, you know quote unquote a, a physician, right? Yes. We don't know. We think he's an optometrist who works at Costco, but yes. you know he's the type of guy who's got the money to pay a motherfucker to tell him the time. You know, doesn't need a watch to tell him time. He can pay yeah. like yeah. he can play no, the man. No, that's Andy, and, and, that's and read Andy, the time. Andy Warhol did that. Andy nurse, Warhol nurse, that. mop mop know. my brow and tell me what time it is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and zip up my fly, nurse. And then and when Andy Warhol when said, they, it doesn't matter. Had... It doesn't need to tell time. It's a Cartier. The brand was bigger yeah, than would... the truth. That was back Somebody when Cartier was, was a real was. brand, though. I mean, it was the luxury brand at that time. Actually, he wore a lot of musty Cartiers. Did you know that? Musty? Musty. We Ooh, that's, Archie, that's we got, we got to... Do they still we have... have... Sorry. We have a philosophical uh, super chat here from Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Two ninety nine. What qualifies a shitter? Well, watch exactly. It's affordable. It's affordable. It has no luxury or prestige to it. It has no history and uh, generic movements. Uh, what else could we say there? Nothing. It's a bit like that glass hoot. That it's a dime a dozen. Dime a dozen. Gold plated. Gold plated. Archie, you know the you know the Glassuta original has an in-house movement. Yeah, I know, I know, it definitely does. It has no. history. But wait, Vin, Jim, it's not... I'm going to bring up controversy. I'm going to bring Jim, up controversy based on that a... question. No Salida in the, in the no Salida, Jim. No Salida, no Salida. No Salida. What's what's I got to say? I think for four ninety nine super chat. Arch, would you toss Mark's boyfriend's salad after my Mark climaxed <laughs> inside of him with his poo-covered wiener for two million? <laughs> two million is a lot of money. Yeah, aren't you doing that? Million. Million I'd, I'd probably do it for two hundred thousand. Yeah, no, take the two million. You're negotiating the wrong way. This is not. That's yeah, not two, the right um, negotiation. Two million. Style. No. I got to be honest with you. Whilst we're talking numbers. $2 million would be enough to last me forever. Yes. yes. I don't need any more than that, okay? <coughs> Gentlemen, I must take my leave of you. I'm so sorry. On this note... Hey, on this dogs topic, will be dogs. Dogs will be dogs. Here it is. So Archie, Marvelous, dogs. Mark. Nice of you to join us. Yes. Find it on Amazon or your local bookstore in any English-speaking country. And uh, like thank you. Dog all. shit be dog shit. It's been a pleasure. Hey, Jim. Take care. Boys. See you, Mark. Thank and you so much. Marvelous. See you later. Hasta luego, amigos. I want to go back to that previous super chat. Yes. What constitutes a about, shitter or the one about like, two million dollars? <laughs> well, it's got to be if it's affordable. Dollars is Let me tell you this. You Let me ask you this. You know it. those Zomos? They would be shitters. You know the Zomos I was promoting? Okay. I they're agree. shitters. Dime a dozen. You can get it easy. Um, there's, yeah. I think got also the, the other thing about a shitter is it has links. You've got, a, you know, those links with the arrows pointing which way you tap them out. That's oh, that's fuck. another point. Of <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that's a fuck. That's another sign. That's a, that's a telltale sign of a shitter where it's got arrows pointing which way do you belt the fucking thing with a hammer. <laughs> the reason I... It's, the reason I bring it up and, and is because I just recently acquired a BBWC. 
And while some might call it a shitter, I'm saying I've been calling it a shitter for the past couple of days, Archie. By the way, he's referring mm-hmm. to me. I gotta say, the other thing that makes a watch a shitter is, uh, I think, the other thing that makes a watch a shitter is that it 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 needs to be if it's affordable, it's gotta hurt. You know, well, the thing. if you can get one, if you can get one in the vintage world, that's new old stock uh, that that looks almost like when it was made. And um, and if it shares, let, let's say it has a singer dial as an example, which is mm. what they put in the Rolex Daytona. Yes, yes, it's yes. A quality yes. dial and, and the watch, 90 percent of the watch is its dial. So if you're wearing yes. a singer dial uh, with a Daytona prototype dial, how can that be a shitter? Archie, did you know that um, Grand Seiko has a pin and collar bracelet that you have to bang out the links? Archie, Grand- don't let these don't don't let these guys try to fucking bully you here. Uh, Omega, fuck, fuck Omega had, had links. Omega had links that had to be belted out as well. Mm-hmm. And Omega, and you know you the other get thing Pams is, is that for under a thousand. Sorry. Did you know you could get Pams for under a thousand? Is that right? I gotta take this. Hello. He needs to have another drink. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> we should talk about Vashron because, like, I know Jen's gonna want to talk about Vashron. So, and, and he's put himself on mute. So. No, 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 no. I no, thought no, no, I no. thought Jen was taking a little. No, uh, no, I'm sorry. I love Vashron. Vashron is. No, that's okay. It's the coolest. Yeah. Which day? Well, Sorry about that. There, she asked me. You. She asked me if I happened to have been in a. Uh, she that woman rang me up and said, "Did you happen to have been in an orgy about three years ago?" No, no, no. not me. So Archie, uh, Jen you have a two-year-old. Himself... Mm. <laughs> Jen's put himself on a on a mm. watch buying hiatus for three months. Oh, and... why is that? He doesn't have that many, does he? He's been he's been picking off some pieces over the last little bit. I, I gotta say that nine seven six is a great watch. The only problem I gotta tell you with the nine seven six, and I understand exactly why you sold it. When I had my paddock, I never wore the fucking the reverso because you'd always wear the fucking Calatrava over the nine seven six, wouldn't? I mean, over reverso, wouldn't you? Yeah, I mean, it, that's there the problem. Really- I understand exactly why you sold it. It was, yeah, it was that. And, you know, when people are looking for reversals these days, they're, they're going for the tribute, right? That's what they're looking for. They're looking for the mm-hmm. tribute to 1931. And that one, yeah, will probably sell. Um, when you're outside of that and you're in the ultra thin or you're in. I don't like you know, ultra thin, do you? What's wrong with ultra fat? Well, I mean, you're, you're, you're saying that all, all, ultra thin is for. Ultra fat. Okay. Yeah, Archie says ultra thin is for pussies. Exactly. Yeah. Have you have you noticed most of these movements with ultra thin movements are fucking expensive to service? Well, the good thing about the the nine seven six is it's, it's between the two. It's not ultra thin. No, it's not as big no. as the Grand Eight. It's it's right. It's a good no. size. And and mm. you know, I was a little worried that you know so Jin might not like it because it was a little bit big. Ultra yeah, I mean, it's, it's cheap, the, yeah. but it's not easy. I mean, if I were to buy a reverse, so at the AD, I would probably have. I would have picked the Grand Tom. But I wear the reverse so as a sport watch, honestly. Because, I mean, it is a sport watch. It's it is a sports watch. Of course it is. It's Not a sport that. watch. And at and, that and big size. But aren't there, aren't there times when you want to wear a watch that's less than $10,000? It, it was less than 10000 to me. Or I mean, less I, than five, even? I mean, I have shitters that I could wear. Yeah, but uh, but Bruce Ving, Ving like wore. I guess when he first got it, he wore it to like New York, and he was getting all this respect. Like chicks were throwing their numbers at him in the AD. Like it was, he was loving. It. He was messaging me. He's like, "Man, this is great. You know, they're treating me like the yeah. king, and I'm not buying shit from them." Here yeah. we go. We got a dollar ninety-nine chat from Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Would you smoke crystal meth and make a vid for fifty thousand dollars? Very, very good question. And I got to tell you honestly, I've never actually smoked crystal meth, and I'm hoping never to because no one I becomes just... no one becomes a, a meth addict by choice. No one becomes a heroin addict by choice. And I'm scared because I've got addictive personality. I'll have one puff, and I will be addicted for life. I think so you should I... start slow with the 420. Start with the 420. 
I've never had 420. You know that? I've never, ever tried for... I've never, ever tried a marijuana. Never tried 420. Never, It might ever mellow tried. you a little. It might mellow you. I, I, uh, I gotta be honest with you. I've got some... Fuck. You don't want our Sean weed, like, you know, coming on the show and it's like, people ask him, hey, would you get a ball or laundry? And he'd be like, cool, man, get whatever you <laughs> whatever, want. Whatever, man. man. It's all good. It's no, all we right. don't want that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it would be a different show, wouldn't it? But no, I, I, I'd stay away. For Even for 50,000, I'm scared I couldn't. I, I wouldn't take heroin. I wouldn't. I, I've never even done coke. I've never done coke. I took an antidepressant once. No Coke Pepsi. That was prescribed. No that Coke was, Pepsi. Yeah, no Coke Pepsi. I took an antidepressant once. That's the most I've ever done. So, no, no, not for me. Not for me. Because I'm scared. I'm scared that I won't be able to say no. That's how people become addicted to this stuff. I took an antidepressant after everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jin's been getting beat up on this Glassuta in the comments earlier. You know, when, he, when Archie said he wasn't approving, people were just throwing jabs. I was like, whoa. Um, Mousy Pluto is saying the doctor is Johnny Jarzin from Redline Design and Printing in Vegas. I haven't spoken to Johnny Jarzin in ages. Man, he was a cool guy. Very, very cool guy. He was a car guy. He was a very cool guy. Um absolutely loved i gotta i'm I gotta re-establish contact he's very busy with his business but uh anyhow guys i gotta go to a um i gotta what, what should i do do i cancel lunch this is the guy who was supposed to be doing a deal with me and i think he pulled out no go for the lunch Have a, if, it's, if, it, if it's a free lunch go for the lunch yeah, that's the way I see it as well. Free food. Also, there's no calories. There's like no calories in free food. You know that, don't you? Also, this guy sounds like he changes his mind a lot, so you don't know if he's going to double back later. A good point. Good point. Very good point. That's a yeah, yeah. Good. That's a good one, Doc. Thanks for that. Archie's prepared, perpetually surrounded by tire kickers. You know, whenever we hear about guys who want to do deals with them, they all want to ask them a thousand questions. They don't want to do any deals with them. Like, all fucking tire kickers. After they're finished, they are like, I need more time to think about this. Uh, <laughs> that's a bit of a but, uh, bummer, isn't why it? Why is man? he not buying it? Why is, why, is he, why is he hesitating to buy it? Is it like he doesn't have the money? <sighs> $2 super chat from NY Punter. Does Federico play for the other team? Seems faggy. I don't know. I've never been there. I don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Um, but I got to tell you, look, I got to be honest with you there. Um, look, guys. <laughs> Why is your friend backing out on buying the Pam? Like, what's the reason? He's just, he's all over the shop, okay? He, he reckons that, because he, he was going to do a swap with an Explorer 2, 42 mil. Then he tells me it's not available because he gave it to another dealer on consignment. And that dealer said he's got a, a buyer for it. It's just all bullshit. I think it's all bullshit. Like, I don't care. I honestly don't care. I don't I think care. He's trying to, I think he's trying to scrape the money up. That's what it sounds like. No, he's a dentist. He's, he's not short of a quid. never know yeah hard to say hard to say well anyway I, I, there's a there's a chance he'll double back and especially you know if he's a dentist and he has the cash chance he doubles back ah uh, who fucking knows who in really the meantime he can, he can afford he can afford to let you have a steak or whatever the heck you want to have off of your uh, reboot Bruce, this yeah. was a pretty fun uh, midweek uh, live show. For the midweek, yeah. Yeah, it was not I, bad. Of course, I. Are we off, by the way? No, we're, we're not. But but I can wind it up. Okay, guys, we'll wind it up. Come back. I'll be here Friday night and Saturday night. We'll back again. Thank you so much, guys. Love you to death. And uh, if you've got nothing nice to say, always say something nasty. See you later, <laughs> fuckers.
<laughs> like, subscribe. <laughs>